We have new details in the shooting at the Hoover Galleria coming from the family of E.J. Bradford Jr. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. I'm Jack Royer. The family has an independent autopsy result that the city of Hoover is now asking be included in the official investigation. This is a live look inside a Hoover City Council meeting that's happening right now at Hoover City Hall. City leaders on hand discussing the issues and concerns of Hoover citizens as many tonight are demanding camera, video and more information be released in connection to the Galleria. Maria Mall shooting investigation. The information released from E.J. Bradford's family has attorney Benjamin Crump calling for a murder charge. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman joins us live in Hoover tonight with new details about how many times Bradford was shot in the mall on Thanksgiving night. Robert. Jack, here's a hard copy of that preliminary anatomical review right now. Again, let's preface it saying that this is all preliminary, but the biggest finding from this review says that E.J. Bradford Jr. was shot three times from behind. You coward. You coward. Shot my nephew in the back three times. Strong words from the family of E.J. Bradford as attorney Ben Crump announces the findings of the preliminary anatomical review organized by the family. The review says that Bradford suffered three gunshot wounds and, after being shot, suffered a laceration on his head after he fell. The cause of death is gunshot wound to the head, neck, and back in the lower right hip region and that the manner of death is homicide. The word back is perhaps the most important. The review found that all three bullets entered Bradford's backside, leading Crump to believe that he was moving away from the officer that fired his or her weapon, not towards. We believe based on this forensic evidence that this officer should be charged with a crime. There's nothing that justifies him shooting EJ as he's moving away from him. The city of Hoover actually released a statement this afternoon encouraging the family to give all of that information from the review to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, which is spearheading this investigation. They also said in that statement that they're standing by what they said before and they're not releasing any new information that they have until Aaliyah gives them the green light. Live in Hoover, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.